doing it, but you don't feel it anymore. It's just a function. It's dangerous if you're a musician, a singer, if you're a preacher, if you're a teacher. You never should get comfortable with this. It still makes me nauseated. I still get upset stomach on Sunday morning. After all these years and all these sermons, 20 plus, I still am so uncomfortable with walking to a platform and trying to preach. It scares me to death. And I don't ever want to get comfortable with something so holy. But because I had said in my mind, I fasted 21 days at the beginning of the year, in my mind, every Saturday when, when you know, I, and I don't, it, it's not legalistic, it's not you have to, it's like the Holy Spirit would just challenge you. He'll just say, go without a meal today and seek me. I want to challenge every one of you to fast, to pray. When you feel yourself getting at ease, when you feel yourself losing that, that intimacy, I promise you I found a cure for that at ease disease. It's called fasting. It's amazing. I don't know why, but when I just skip a meal, when I, if I fast from sun up to sundown, it's like ah, I'm charged again. It's a big deal. Jesus did it. Moses did it. Elijah did it. Peter did it. Paul did it. Maybe you ought to do it. But, 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 but I like food too much. But one Saturday afternoon about six weeks ago, Friday I knew, just felt that little prompting. He doesn't force you. He doesn't. He just says, do you want to get more intimate? Do you feel a little distant? I started waking up at night, and I almost hear the Lord saying, I miss you. I miss you. I was praying. I was reading my Bible, but I, I didn't feel what I felt, you know, like I felt this morning in that powerful service. Did you know you can have that? And I, uh, so I said in my mind, tomorrow I'm fasting from sun up to sundown. I forgot I had a wedding. <laughs> so I studied all day, got my message, and had a wedding in the afternoon, and it was outside wedding. And so Dwayne, one of our pastors, picked me up and, and took me to this place, and it was outside. And I'm not making this up. Beautiful wedding outside. This precious little couple in the church walked down the aisle, and the whole time, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, I had had nothing to eat, and my stomach is. And as it was embarrassing. They're standing there, and I, 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 I do you take so and so to be your husband? And before they could answer, <laughs> growling stomach. And then after, after the after the wedding, people said, "Come over to the reception. We've got food. There's something about a wedding you ought to eat after the wedding." Everything in me wanted to go eat. But I told Dwayne, I said, let's go, we slip out. We got in the car and we were riding down the road. And for some reason, Dwayne had the radio station on a love station, which is a little weird for two guys in the car. <laughs> and there were love songs. And all of a sudden, Joe Cochran comes on. And some of you kids, I hope you know, I hope I'm not dating myself. But I start hearing that scraggly voice. You are so beautiful. And Dwayne reached over and said, I love this song, and he turned it up to me. And I'm feeling real uncomfortable now. I look over, and he looks at me and just grins, and I said, don't even start. I'll knock you out. You are, do y'all know it? So beautiful, sing it with me. To me, can't you see? You, you know that song. I want to show you how the Lord works. I want to show you how the Lord works. So we hear that song, and it, you know, we both enjoyed it, and then we turned it down and just kept talking. Didn't think anymore. We got home. I walk into the house, and I want you to listen to me. I'm closing. I walk into the house, I'm minding my own business, I'm walking down the hall, and we have a little uh, sitting room 
and we have a little baby grand piano because I play the piano. And I felt, and I felt, and I felt the Lord. I mean, just like, boom, the presence of the Lord. See, when you fast, you get sensitive to the presence of the Lord. And the Spirit of the Lord just impressed me. And I started hearing that song in my ears. I, 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 had, I had totally forgot about it. It had been 30 minutes or so, but I started hearing Joe Cochran in my head singing, You Are So Beautiful. And the Lord said, Why don't you sing that to me? You are so beautiful. Nobody there but me and Jesus, so beautiful. Started singing it to him. To me, can't you see? of souls around the world. Now is the time. A brand new message series from Jensen Franklin will inspire and reveal God's best for your life. The Bible said he will leave you handfuls of purpose. The way that you find what you put on this earth to do is you have to get in the field and then you'll find handfuls of purpose. Now is the time includes three powerful messages never before released and available for a limited time for your love gift of $30 or more. See, if some of you business people would get this revelation that if I take care of God's business, God will take care of my business, it would revolutionize your life. Don't wait. Now is your time to call and discover a higher level of faith to reach further for the kingdom than ever before. If you are someone who has been waiting to do something for God, now is the time. Operators are standing by. Call the number on your screen now. seeing everybody lift their hands and worship God and have fun while doing it. I've been convicted of so much and I really know what I need to get right with God. You come in thinking as a leader you're not going to get as much and it's for the kids, but I'm telling you it is rocked by world and I'm so glad to be here. I don't feel like I have to be somebody else to impress them. I can be me and worship God the way I want to. I got saved here and it was totally awesome. Thousands and thousands of passionate people worshiping God. It's broken a whole lot of addictions that I came here with, and it's just brought me a whole lot closer to God.